Welcome to Booktopia TV. I'm John Purcell, and I'm here with Alex Malley, the author of The Naked CEO. Welcome, Alex. Thank you, John. So good to see you in clothes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I was a little bit, I was thinking, hmm, how's this guy going to turn up? <laughs> but it's very nice to see you, and you look very refined. Thank you very much. I try. Now, I just want to get a few things sorted because, you know, not everyone knows what a CEO is. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's one of those things that's thrown around a lot. Yes. So, um, the first thing is, what is a CEO? And then, why is this one particularly naked? Yeah, look, it's good. they're good questions. The, the nakedness basically is the nudity of knowledge, right? It's just the core knowledge of and, and experiences I've had. So it's the truth, yeah. unadulterated truth. And you're absolutely right. People are mystical about what a CEO does. In particular, young emerging people and leaders who think that's what they want to do, I thought it was good for them to see exactly what it looks like, um, what I might look for in people on their way through, and to celebrate the many and varied mistakes I'd made along the way. Hopefully they'll pick up how to make a few less and perhaps get well beyond where I am in a much shorter time. So you talk about the mistakes and that's something that there's a lot of pressure on young people yeah. um, and when they leave university or leave school and they go to interviews and they um, and they put a lot of pressure on themselves to yes. get everything right, perfectly right. Um, in the opening of your book, you actually describe your one of your first interviews where you really wanted to get this job and you stuffed it. Yeah. Well, and, and worse still, I, I beat about 300 candidates before I stuffed it. Um, and it was when they asked me to do a particular te a series of tests that it, rem it reminded me of my school experiences when I'd had some pretty ugly results from, from some tests. And I just went into a cold sweat. And it was at that point that I actually thought, I'm leaving, and I walked away. And it was the last time I ever failed, John, because that's the time when I realised you never not try something, go for it. What's the worst that can happen? And there's a, there's a theme there for, for young people. You're absolutely right, they put pressure on themselves, and you don't have to. And I promised I would write this book when I sat in a uni theatre many years ago saying, I don't know what this real world's about. One day, when I work it out, I'm going to write a book, and here I am today. So it's like, a, it's like going back in time. It, like is, it is, it is. Going back and, is. And, and whispering in the ear of a, of a young you. Because I didn't think, I don't think, actually, there's enough leaders. They talk about mentoring and providing advice, but I don't see a lot of it in evidence. And I feel like I've got all these potential secrets as someone who's run organisations and been a CEO, who's actually willing to share the secrets. Um, and some of them are really straightforward, simple secrets. So uh, let's go back to the idea of a CEO. Um, we've got a CEO here at Booktopia, mm -hmm. um, so I get to see what he does. But I, I, I suppose that CEOs are different in, in many, have different roles in different organisations. Yeah, they do, but I think the fundamental common ground is that they're always making decisions. So on weekends, I don't want to make any. So I don't mind what movie you want to go to, kids. I'll, I'll go, it doesn't matter. But it's making decisions. And, and it's people walking in, looking in you in the eye and selling all the time, selling to you something. And, and I have this technique, um, which I share, and it's about look at the eyes, listen to the mouth, but always trust the eyes. So when someone's selling to you, they probably mean well, but there's an agenda, work it out through their eyes. So you just learn how to watch human behavior. And that's where I've learned a lot about where young people could do could be smarter about some of the things they do, not to be frightened of the things they, they're frightened of, and to know that the CEO is probably sitting in a meeting thinking, you know, you're a dud in this meeting, you need to fix it up, but don't ever tell you. So this is sort of sharing some of those, those secrets that the CEO sees from their side. So who, who is who's the book for? So you're thinking of a, a young person who's getting involved in business or a young person um, who wants a, a, a job in, in accounting and finance? Who, who's, the, who's, who's your prime um, reader? Look, the prime audience is really anyone who's got ambition to, to be better and to achieve bigger goals that they want. Not that I think they should have, but what they want. And one of the fortunate things I've had is I taught for 20 years in large lecture theatres and never received a plane thrown at me. So I, I know how to engage with young people. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's for them. And it's also for, I guess you could say, parents who probably can see the potential in their child, but can also see them potentially wasting it. So it's, it's for them. And it's for anyone who's in transition, who's just feeling like they're in a rut. I talk about getting out of those ruts 
and driving yourself forward again. And, and look, I learned that, to be honest, I learned that at 17 when I was suspended from school. I, I, I learned what isolation was. And standing outside the school waiting for the school bus to go home to somehow tell the family that I had this resplendent um, suspension letter. And I learned about isolation, I didn't like it. And I don't like the thought that young people and, and tr people in transition, or anyone in particular, finds themselves isolated because they're not achieving what they feel inside they can. And I tell them they can, and I give them a frame of, with which they might be able to go to that bigger life. Thank you very much for talking to us. Thanks so much. Wonderful. Alex's book, The Naked CEO, is available from booktopia.com.au.